Welcome back to a new era guys, Anuj here and in today's video I'm going to show you 5 cinematic drone moves that you should know. Let's go. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. Make sure to like and subscribe because we always have some cool camera tips, you know, doing some drone, camera, whoosh, whoosh. By the way, as we go through the video, you want to keep a couple things in mind. One being that you don't want to go full throttle when you're controlling your drone. Just because gentle and more controlled movement tends to be more cinematic and you can always speed up the footage in post. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that I'm using the Mavic Air 2 but honestly, all of these tips, all of these movements can translate to whatever drone or whatever drone footage that you have. Alright, the first shot is going to be what I call and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people call the elevator shot which is basically you just shooting your drone straight up while the camera is facing forward. The trick to making this thing a lot more cinematic is that you want to start behind something, something that'll reveal your final composition as you go up. Check it out. So the second cinematic drone shot, which is one of my personal favorites, is the pull back and up. So you want to start with the drone really close to your subject or yourself facing you and you just want to have it pull back while slowly rising so you can reveal the whole composition at the end. So the third shot is going to be a circle shot or an orbit shot. What it basically is, is that the drone is just going to be circling around you at a constant speed. Take note though, you want to have the gimbal facing a downward 45 angle at your subject relative to however high the drone is. And the thing about this one is you also want to treat it like a reveal shot. You want it to have it orbit around the part that's boring until it comes around to the back or the front wherever your epic composition is. Unless you're at some high vantage point and everything around you is just epic, it doesn't really matter. So the fourth shot is going to be the bird's eye rotate or you could call it a top down while rotating upward. Basically all it is is the drone is directly above you looking straight down at the ground and it's rotating as it pulls up. This is going to allow for some super abstract composition and it's one of my favorite just to get super interesting stuff. The final cinematic drone shot is going to be the tilt reveal. It's super easy to do. It's my go-to because it's a quick shot and it's super cinematic. All you're doing is having the drone move forward while the gimbal is tilted all the way down. But then what you're going to do is just have the gimbal slowly rotate up until your final composition comes into view. And bam, there you go. All these drone shots are really going to help you get cinematic footage, especially if you're a beginner. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next Wednesday.